SMU heads to Tulsa, and this was 3.30 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN+. Plus. Tulsa is a two-point home dog, total of 63.5, and here, I'll pull up the numbers on the screen so you can get a head start on that while I'm looking at the trends. SMU is 0-7 against the spread on the road in their last seven against losing teams. They are 1-5 against the spread in their last six games overall. They are 9-23 against the spread in their last 32 road games overall. On top of that, they are 0-5 against the spread against Tulsa. The underdog in this matchup specifically is 14-3 against the number in their last 17 meetings. Uh, as far as Tulsa goes, 5-0 and against the spread after a straight-up win. They are 25-11-1 ATS after a spread loss. Uh, two and seven against the spread against losing teams. So that's something to pay attention to because SMU is now technically a losing team. I look at these numbers here, and I don't think any of them matter. Uh, Tulsa's offense, not great at throwing the football, but SMU's defense isn't great either. Tulsa's going to try and run, I, I believe, much more so. And they're number 56 in PPA per rush. Well, SMU's defense is number 113. You look at points per scoring opportunity, Tulsa, once they get inside the opponent 40-yard line, they're scoring 4.39 points per drive, points per opportunity there. Um, it, it, Tulsa has a field position advantage when they're on offense, big time. I My biggest question here is about Tanner Mordecai. If he's not playing, I know that the backup came in and looked pretty good against Cincinnati. I just don't think this SMU team plays well on the road, and Tulsa, whenever they are in an underdog spot, they tend to play well. There's nothing that can really quantify it. That My number here over the last five weeks says that SMU should be favored by seven. But this is one of those weird spots that Philip Montgomery's bunch tends to show up in. I would tend to lean with him. Um, turnover margin, basically a wash. SMU better in penalties per game. I, I, I look at standard downs, like... Tulsa's defense, pretty good on standard downs. Um, and when you get them behind the chains, when you get SMU behind the chains, uh, SMU's offense number 45 and passing down success rate, well, on the other side, Tulsa number 47. So I wouldn't read too much into that Temple game for Tulsa last week. I think this is still a pretty decent t- team. I think they're pretty well coached. Yeah, give me, give me Tulsa to cover the two in this spot. I think, I think they're pretty good. Not great, but I think they'll be okay against SMU. So give me Tulsa plus two here. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.